Right now, let's have a chat about the Galaxy Buds because at the end of the day, Buds from all different brands in different sizes and designs, they are the tech item of especially the last two to three years. I mean, my 12-year-old's my gone and gotten some uh, Bluetooth earbuds and there's a bunch of challenges with them. One of them is making them fit in the ear area as well as you possibly can. I thought we'd have a chat with Jeff Quattromani today, tech expert, friend of the show, about the new Galaxy Buds and whether they measure up. How are you, Jeff? Really well, Charlie. Thanks for having me. Now, good to have a chat. Galaxy Buds, yes, no, should I purchase another option out there? What that would that be? What should I look at? Um, what are your thoughts overarching on the Galaxy Buds? Look, first of all, I think the, the Buds Live, and I'll hold them up to the camera if you haven't seen them before, uh, they are quite beautiful. They're, they're extremely shiny, but they they look like beans. If we're being very honest, they look like beans. And uh, when you do put them in the ear, they don't actually protrude into the ear canal like, like AirPods do and other brands. They just rest inside the ear, but they rest quite well in that I can go to the gym, I can go for a run, and they don't fall out very easily as well. Uh, but what's most impressive is, given the size of these things, they actually sound very good as well. So it's a it's an interesting balance of nice design but good audio performance too. And that's the thing, isn't it? Right? I mean, I remember the Bose had their earbuds. Um, the sound was sensational, but they just looked ridiculous, you know. But then again, when yes. Apple came out with the AirPods, they looked ridiculous as well until everyone started wearing them. I mean, the difference between ridiculous and looking totally cool is really just up to the beholder, right? Yeah, it really is. And it's, and it's true that I think Apple really did push everybody over the line when it came to, you know, wearing uh, wireless earbuds because, you know, I usually use the Apple AirPods Pro uh, and they are a, a stunning pair of headphones. Um, the noise cancelling is really where we're starting to see things shift now. And that's where the competitive ground is that, you know, everyone can buy a pair of Bluetooth earbuds wherever they like for not a lot of money. But when you look at the AirPods Pro at $399 uh, with noise cancelling and then Samsung doing a similar pair for $319, uh, we start to compare them on noise cancelling as well. And, and I have to be honest, the, the Samsung Buds Live, their noise cancellation is not as good as the AirPods Pro. Uh, but main reason being, as I mentioned before, is that they don't protrude into that ear canal, so they don't have that tight seal that the AirPods Pro can achieve. So different styles do produce different levels of noise cancelling, uh, but it is amazing that we're even talking about noise cancelling when it comes to such small little earbuds. One of the things that Samsung's always talked about is trying to get customers as young as they can to engage with their products. And with earbuds, um, my 12-year-old, regular set of ear buds won't fit into her ears. She's 12, right? So for kids even younger than that, um, finding a set of buds to actually get into their ear is, is really, really challenging. I know mm. because we tested about 18 different designs of earbuds for Jimmy before we picked wow. one based on the fact that it was more likely to fit into an eight-year-old's ear canal than any of the other designs that were out there. And even still, many of them didn't fit into the youngest uh, customers out there. Having, I guess, I guess my point is, having the product designed for the widest group in the community is actually really important. Yeah, and it's actually also really difficult to do. And, you know, for me, putting these in, I'm probably fortunate enough that they do fit in well. There is also a, a very small uh, rubberized clip that you can put on to give it a tighter fit if you if you are finding them a bit loose. And even with the AirPods, they now come with three different um, silicon gels that you can have for your, for your ear size. So I think everyone's trying to find that sweet spot and to make mm. it perfectly fit well because the reality is, especially with the noise cancelling models, if they're not fitting properly, they're not going to work properly either. So they won't actually produce that same level of noise cancellation that they expect if it's not fit well. So it is a challenge, and that's why we always go back to over-ear headphones because you can't really go wrong when it comes to those because they cover the entire ear. So it's an interesting balance they have to have over design and functionality in that way. Do all earbuds work with all smartphones? It's the best question to ask because when I was testing these, uh, the AirPods work really well with my iPhone. 
try connecting them to a Samsung device. They'll work if you want to listen to music, but most of the functionality that you know about AirPods disappears. So they mm. don't really travel well across operating systems. The Samsung ones, however, that I've been testing work obviously well on any Android device. They have a companion app, but there's also a companion app for iOS. So my iPhone with the Galaxy Buds Live, I can use them to summon Siri. I can use them to skip songs, pause tracks, do whatever I like. Uh, I'm not losing anything in the experience. And with the companion app that Samsung has for iOS, you can have all the same features around equalizer, noise cancellation, and things like that. So I really think what Samsung is doing here is this is your carrot into the mm. gateway to potentially buying a Samsung phone next. Because if you have an iPhone and then you buy these headphones and the experience is good, maybe later on you'll actually consider also getting a Samsung smartphone. So I think that's really why it's so smart to work across both operating systems. Versus buying iPhone and then AirPods and then thinking, well, I've got these very expensive AirPods, I probably won't change to an alternate smartphone next upgrade because the AirPods are still working, I want them to work really well, so I'll get another iPhone. Absolutely, and it's, and it's the same thing with the Apple Watch as well. Good luck trying to get that to work on, on an Android device, but if you have got a Samsung watch, you can use that with an iPhone too. Mm. So you know, I think all brands need to ensure they're compatible with iOS because they have the opportunity to try and cross-sell later on and bring them across. But if you're too invested in the Apple camp, as a lot of people are, it can be very hard and expensive to jump out. Yeah, it just works. Or well, it just it does works just work. over at uh, If you Apple, stay there. Depending who you ask. Uh, new Galaxy Buds available now. Um, they did that pre-order with the Galaxy Note that has finished because the Galaxy Note is available. You can purchase them. 319 I think you said, Mr. Quattromani. $319 available now. And I've got to say, they come in three colors. Isn't that nice? They actually have a variety with black, white, and bronze, whereas the AirPods, just white. Brilliant. All right. Good to talk to you this week. We'll have a chat to you again next week. Jeff Quattromani, tech expert. Thanks again for your time. Thanks, Charlie.